Hey guys, day 22 out of 30 of our pants review series. The last one about kidney stones was kind of a doozy, so today I'm going to give you a pretty easy one. So xanthochromia. Define xanthochromia and tell me what it indicates. What is xanthochromia and what does it indicate might be going on? Give you guys a few seconds to think about it. I'm all out of champagne. Oh, still a drop left. Okay, xanthochromia. Xanthochromia is a yellowing of the CSF. So you get a lumbar puncture, a spinal tap, and you notice, wow, that fluid's not clear. It's yellow. It's a yellowing of the CSF, the cerebrospinal fluid. What does it indicate? It indicates a spontaneous subarachnoid hemorrhage. So, one more time. What is xanthochromia? Xanthochromia is a yellowing of the cerebrospinal fluid, the CSF, that you find on lumbar puncture, a spinal tap, and what it indicates is a spontaneous subarachnoid hemorrhage. Now, you might be thinking hemorrhage. Huh, that should be red, right? Hemorrhage is blood. And then, you know, CNS, so subarachnoid, it's all in the CNS. It's connected to the blood, or it's connected to the brain and the spinal uh, column and everything. So why isn't it red? Why is it yellow? Well, that's because it's broken down, and the blood product that is remaining, um, once the hemoglobin is broken down, is yellow. At least that's what I remember very, very basically from school. It's been a while, sorry. Um, but that's why it's not red. Basically, it's yellow because of some sort of a breakdown process uh, before it gets into the CSF or while it's in the CSF. Uh, whenever that happens. But anyway, xanthochromia is yellowing of the CSF found on lumbar puncture, indicating a spontaneous subarachnoid hemorrhage.